This is a follow-up to a video I posted quite a while ago, I think it was last year, where I had my Nikon P900 camera on the floor looking down a long hallway, and it was in this building here. This is the Department of Natural Resources building in Salt Lake City. And as you can see, this is a pretty good sized building, and it's joined together right here. This is a connecting hallway, and it's a pretty much straight, uninterrupted hallway for this entire distance on the floor where I work. And if I turn the 3D building off, we can get a measurement of that. And I'm shooting from just about here. And if we go all the way down to the end, where there's a stairwell that goes to the outside, is about 106 meters, 105, 106 meters and it's a straight shot. There's nothing obscuring it except for where these two buildings join. This was the old western building that was built first. This was added on later with the black roof. There's a small cover over the seam in the floor that is a slight raised amount, but the floors themselves are level apart from that little raised bump. And you can see when I zoom in on the camera you'll see that little bump but otherwise it's a pretty straight shot, 105 meters. And you'll see people walking down in the far distance, and one guy you'll see take quite a number of steps, 30 or 40 steps, walk almost 80 feet, and he doesn't appear to be moving at all because of the compressed perspective when you zoom in. And it's a pretty neat appearance, and uh, but it'll be a good demonstration that just because something is a long straight shot. Nothing gets obscured due to perspective. Alright, so here we go. This is standing inside DNR, looking down that hallway that I told you about. To the left of the fire extinguisher are the stairs up to the roof that you can see from the rooftop view, that little brown cupola looking building. I'm going to talk over the original audio for most of this because I was just talking to people in the office, mainly who were wondering what the hell I was doing, zooming back and forth down the hallway. But nevertheless, this will be a good indication of just how far I'm zooming. That far end, again, is about 105 meters, whatever that works out to, 360 feet or so. And that's not quite zoomed all the way out. This was my high-tech solution to the problem of the P900 not sitting perfectly level, especially when zoomed all the way in. But this is with the camera at, ma at widest angle. And there in the foreground, that blurry area you can see is that small join in the floors that I mentioned in the earlier part of the video. But again, at the far end, you can see all the way down to the bottom of the door frame and the gap underneath. Yes, I was getting a lot of strange looks the entire time. This was a good sequence here, with this guy coming out of the restroom, down by the water fountains. I'll do a walk down the hallway later on, and you'll see just how far away from me that is. But take a look at how many steps he's taking, and he's really not changing size at all. I love the foreground compression, or the foreshortening effect, I should say. In this section here, you'll see somebody open and walk out of that far distant door. And I want you to notice on the wall, at the far end behind the door, you can see the base of that as well.
And this section here is another great illustration of foreshortening. This guy walks toward me, I'd guess, at least 130 to 150 feet from the far end of the building to the stairwell nearest to our section. That was assuming he's got a roughly two foot stride. He doesn't walk back quite as far. In fact, I think he walks in the restroom because they're that's behind those water fountains on the right. All right, so let's take a little walk down the hallway ourselves. I'm going to walk at a fairly normal pace. You can see right there on the floor that slight shiny line across there. That's where the two building halves come together. So that's the only raised bump in the entire path. This is as close as most people get to me right there. That's the stairwell up from the south side of the building, the main entrance of the building. There's the two water fountains you can always see, and the restroom right to the side of them. and down to the exit stairs. Turn around, look back up the hallway. That's the 105 meter hallway. Zooming in, my filming location is right in front of those short bookcases right there. I had the camera set on the floor right in front of them. And again, you can see that slight bump in the floor where the buildings come together. And that's the only, the only thing keeping it from being perfectly level all the way along. And we'll take it out and speed up back down the hallway and end with just some raw uncut footage with the original audio that I took the following morning when people were coming into work at a pretty good clip. And you can hear some of the nonsense that goes on in the office and what I had to put up with while I was doing this for it. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. And you all have a good afternoon, evening, or morning, wherever you happen to be. Cheers. Looking best, you know. Yeah. I'm sure you've probably even done that shot yourself. I haven't been up there in a very long time. I've done it in the daytime. I've never done it at night. But um, the other thing, too, is the long day leave like that camera open, you know, the brighter and brighter everything will get, you know, you'll eventually burn out the freeway, it'll just be this mass of lights, yeah. but then the city lights will get bright. And that's the other thing with the star trails, you know, you go for a couple, three minutes at night, then whatever light is around you gets way overexposed. Huh, that's a good idea. You, you, did, you did good, Mike, we're up to 43 views now. 43 views? Yes. You know, I felt like maybe I'm give that my best shot. I don't know if you want me to be pushing the container or pulling it. We need to that. No, well, if you want to be a true... So you're filming the hall again? This is like a... This is like being day in the life. <laughs> no, it's just, you know, 8 o'clock, people coming in. It's the best chance to get people in. If you want to be really famous, you can walk to the door and back. No, I, I know. I'm, uh, I guess it's probably okay. I better
years. Now, I, I hope that's okay with you because I haven't known you for very long and I've known you very well. <laughs> but I know, I'm pretty sure I can count on Sean to keep that secret. Yeah, it's just one of them. Okay with me, should be okay with you. <laughs> well, I haven't been bad yet. Hey, Misty, I was thinking of making 3,000 copies of lavender today. Is that okay? You, you did get a result, though, yes. with the person who seemed strangely obsessed with your contact information. You know? <laughs> did Gary stay for the whole thing? Yes, he was amazing. So he's now task trained on how to repair it. Right, and you know what? Gary was how you do stuff, it makes you feel so stupid. <laughs> all we used to that. <laughs> so, here's my thing starts. I don't know if there were people coming today to start These is hard stuff now. Oh, that's just us. Right? Cheers to today. But it was just like hard. It's Morning. Good morning, Will. But if people walk to the side, well, then I get a really good close up of their feet. Oh, you're not going to Idaho. I'm going to go with the uh, 
reunion or the 50th anniversary uh, Sloppy Joe watermelon bash in the parking lot. Yeah, I don't know why it was poor planning. Well, it'll be interesting. Well, what I'm hoping is that uh, management will notice it got dark and figure we should all go home. Do you guys know if we'll be able to, won't we partially be able to see it? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be, it'll be pretty good. Plus, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, 91 or 92 percent here, which is good. Yeah. But it's barely going to dim the sky. Oh, right. Well, that, um, yeah. What about you? <laughs> you guys have been here. <laughs> you know, Brown Phil? Very sure. Sure. Uh, uh, digital imagery, I guess. I guess. Yeah, get a few more zoomed something. out shots and we'll call it good. But... How is Wildlife doing? Oh, I don't know. There's some maintenance work. Uh, uh, James 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 went that way. You can't follow him. You need him. to come a little further over this way, though. You yeah, can't just follow him by chance? I, I have not seen Kim. Okay. Thanks, guys. Are you going to a parade? Oh, just going down the hallway. Confetti. Confetti to go. We'll probably make money on that. Gotta suggest that, Sean. I should. Shred everything and solve this confetti for the days of 47. So you're you're not going north. North? Not any further north than Davis County. Okay. No, I won't be here yet. Uh, Kayla was offended that I would think of going to that and not to the park. So you're going to Idaho? Oh, yeah. I probably will. Like just the shoulder of a road somewhere in Wyoming? Yeah, I don't need to go to the town. I'm walking away. Yeah, I'm going to go to the town. Yeah, I don't need to go to the town. I'm walking away. Whatever else they're doing. The Eclipse Parade. Wow, there's really parades for this? Oh, yeah. Every town in the path has got something. How many parades are there? Hey, well, I knew there was a lot going on. I didn't know about parades, though. I thought oh, this is yeah. the first time I'm hearing about parades. Maybe a drive-in movie. I, I was trying to decide how far it seems a little bit excessive. It's, like, it's, it's just an yeah. eclipse, guys. Riverton, Wyoming is like, you know, it's on the Indian reservation out there. I've been to Riverton. So. Well, there's it's not all on the reservation. Um, Miriam was just looking for it. She probably come through here in a few minutes. Yeah, she was carrying a bag of shrimp. Well, James, I'm thinking we should uh, collect that and market it for parades or celebrations. Collect that what? Those bags of shredded paper. We sell that as confetti as a fundraiser. The next time Salt Lake puts a parade on for us. Eclipse parade. Yeah. Well, the next time a U.S. president is going to drive by, we all go outside and stand and wait. That was and horrible. And then he turns right on Redwood Road to go to the freeway. <laughs> was that? Are you talking about Obama? <laughs> no, this was. Uh, Bush, I think. Uh, it was a while ago. Okay, yeah, because Obama's motorcade, I remember just everything was shut down. Was like, yeah. How did you guys even they, get close enough? They shut down every overpass on I-15 for Obama. For Obama yeah. through, and I got stuck uh -huh. on the wrong side. I'm like, what oh, <laughs> 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 you know, I could go for it.